Construction of classrooms and a dormitory for the Suedo Salvation School for the Deaf is almost complete and the additional facilities are expected to increase access in educating children with hearing disability. The Swedro Salvation Army School for the Deaf was established in 1995 by a Salvation Army missionary. The school was taken over by the Ministry of Special Education in 2004, with a student enrollment of 134 and a staff strength of 25. The current facility which accommodates them is inadequate. There are only three classrooms available for kindergarten to junior high school students. As a result, some classes have to be partitioned. Okay, he's, she's saying most of the deaf students, I mean the students are coming from far away. And uh, they, all, they need a dormitory so that they will be uh, staying here, so that they will come to school, they will go to classes early. So that, that, that is the challenge. A lot of uh, students who are in the school currently commit daily from very fast distances. And this has been given sleepless nights to the parents together with the school administration. Sometimes on their way going home, they may miss uh, the point that they are supposed to alight. And in some instances, cars knock them down because when they blow the horn, they may not hear it. The Kufu government in 2007 started a project at the school's new site, but this has not been completed as the contractor abandoned work. Currently, part of the old project has collapsed and is overgrown with weeds. In 2016, work on a new block for the school began. This comprises a four-unit boys and girls dormitory block, classroom and staff bungalow, Work is almost complete. Although an NGO, Africa Action, has constructed a dining hall for the school at the new site, it can only be put to use when the construction of the classroom and dormitories are complete. We are very grateful to the government that they have done something good. There are a lot of children who of school going age who are not in school because their parents cannot bring them to school daily. And because of the, the, the movement or the where they are coming from, some are coming from as far as Bojwasi uh, to the school here. Some uh, uh, Bobikoma, Abodom, uh, Nyekrum, Nsaba, Esikuma and other places. Some from Winibar Road down to Swedu. So if the place is completed, many children will be enrolled and the current one who are uh, already in the school will be more relief in terms of what? After the school activities, when we give them homework to take home, sometimes they bring it back to the school without doing it. When you complain, they say they, they, they don't get anybody to help them. So if the place is completed, we move to this place, it will help us massively. 